Hi everyone and welcome to Nico's Kitchen's What You Want Wednesday. Today's recipe request comes in from the Facebook user Julie Grodwin and she's asked me to make some monkey bread so let's get started. He's got budget meals Monday, what you want Wednesday, fast food Friday, what else could he share? It's Nico's Kitchen where satisfying meals are prepared. So guys, the first thing that we're going to do on our monkey bread, just into a large bowl, I've got some melted butter into the bowl. To the butter, I'm going to be adding in some sugar, and I'm also going to be adding in some vanilla extract. And we're just going to give this a mix around. Now, we're making our own cookie dough. If you want to go and buy some pre-made cookie dough, that's fine. But I'm going to show you how easy it is to do it at home, and the taste it's going to be so, so much better. I've got a sifter here and we're going to add in our dry ingredients. First one is going to be some custard powder. Then we're going to be adding in just some plain flour and just sift that through. And then we're just going to stir this until it forms a dough. So this is what we're after with our dough. Now what I want you to do is wrap it up in cling film, pop it into the fridge for 15 minutes. So I've just pulled out our dough out of the fridge and I've just put it on some baking paper and I've got some more baking paper that I'm just gonna put over the top. All I wanna do is roll out that dough to about five millimeters. Now guys, all you have to do now is just grab a cookie cutter and just make those circles just like that and just keep repeating that process with all the dough that you have. Now guys, what I'm doing here is I'm placing our cookie dough into a ring cake tin. And I'm just placing it on here. Now guys, the idea of monkey bread, I suppose, is when this all comes out, when we're finished baking it, people can just pull it apart and just take what they want. So this is great to serve on the uh, family dinner table for dessert because people can just pick at it. Now, we're gonna put this aside for the meantime and we're gonna get started on making our caramel. So, just into a pot on a medium heat, I'm gonna be adding in some butter. And to the butter, I'm gonna be adding in some brown sugar. And I'm also gonna be adding in some cinnamon to the brown sugar. And guys, we wanna keep mixing this just for a few minutes over this medium heat and what we're looking for is not a thick caramel, not a real thick caramel, caramel, but we don't want it really thin either. It should only take about sort of three to four minutes over medium heat. Just keep stirring like this. So guys, this is what we're after here. It's not so thick because it's just falling off the spoon, but it's not real runny either. So that's what we're after. So I'm just going to take this off the heat. I'm going to pour over that caramel just over the top. Now you don't have to mix it around, just leave it as it fell. Now this is going into a preheated oven at 175 degrees C for 30 to 35 minutes. So guys, I've just pulled out our monkey bread. I've taken it out of the tin and monkey bread is best served warm. Best served warm and the smell of that caramel on the top and that cookie dough is just amazing and that cinnamon smell just wafts through the whole house and I'm gonna go for a piece just over here oh I'm just gonna pull it apart and get stuck into this bad boy let's go <laughs> Woo, love it as always the ingredients are below so check it out so I hope you've enjoyed my version of some monkey bread do give this one a go the ingredients are below in the description you guys take care and i'll see you this friday for fast food friday so until then take care